lo serio de tu honestidad. Honest experience with Annunciation House. I came away from that week certainly angry and upset at the inhumanity of our government's immigration policies, but I also came away with a deeper sense of my values and along with that motivation to do whatever it is I can using my privilege and what I've learned from this experience to help stop injustices like this from continuing. A conversation with the Mexican National Guard member through the border fence, his, um, his message to us to you know, go home, finish school and not become part of the problem um, was really refreshing and, and really important for us to hear. to take with me the heaviness I felt when seeing the border, the disgust I felt when learning about the conditions of the detention centers, the gratitude I felt for organizations such as Annunciation House and Hope Border Institute. Because in order to understand the situation, you have to feel it all, not just the hurt, not just the hope, all of it. One of the most important things that I'm taking away back home um, from our trip is having an understanding that the justice issue of immigration um, and our broken immigration system isn't just present at the border, but it's present in every single community across the United States. Having that knowledge has really ingrained into everything that I do. Um, in, in my daily life, I'm, I'm constantly more aware of how is our community um, inclusive towards migrants? How is it not? And it's something that I'm gonna carry with me for the rest of my life. Playing with the kids was especially fun for me. And you realize that even though so much is going on in their lives, they still are able to smile and laugh and, and pray and just live life to the fullest, which really struck me because in that environment, I realized even more how much privilege I truly have and how I need to own that and know that and also do something about it. like this happening in plain sight and confronting that like day after day was really exhausting for a lot of people but it, it also gave me so much hope knowing that people live that reality every day and still have so much passion to change what needs to be changed and make their own life better but also like make the lives better of like everyone else in their community that just gave me so much hope. What I have taken and will continue to take from this trip is honestly everything I've learned, especially the, the stories that I got to hear over, over dinners and how these things affect real people and how we must be there for them. It is a privilege to know their stories, but it's also our privilege to help them out as well. My single biggest takeaway from El Paso was just really what people's struggles outside my own life may, may look like and may be like and, and how I can be more mindful to that and how I can position myself to not be a part of the problem, to be able to assist in what they're trying to accomplish and, and help them just simply live a better life is really what I took away from my time in El Paso. Paso changed my life. These injustices that we face in the community will always hurt me, but it pushes me to be better, to fight for our rights and keep our families together. This experience brought closure to me, and with the knowledge I'm bringing back, I'll never stop fighting for my family, and I'll never stop being who I am.
a dreamer. We didn't go on this trip to travel. We didn't even go on this trip to learn about Texas. We went on this trip to learn and to bring our knowledge back home. There is so much happening in the world right now, so many awful things, and it can feel so draining, so overwhelming. But for you to do one thing, to care so deeply about one issue, is beyond important and does change the world for the better. Thank you.